Hello, in this video I want to have a look at the Rockerham C11 264 tank. This is the smallest uh, steam locomotive reduced in Z gauge by any of the Japanese manufacturers so far. And it's an interesting test for something that is quite light and very, very small. The fourth size of C11s were built between 1932 and 1947 and eventually totaled 381 members of the class. Remarkably, 50 of these are still preserved and 5 are still in working order on various tourist lines. Weighing in at 66 tonne, this is a quite a small engine even by mainline standards. The model comes in a standard rocker hand package, very well packaged, with the instructions underneath, plenty of cellophane and plastic to keep it protected while it's actually in transit, and of course the boxes will stack nicely with everything else that you get from rocker hand as well. As supplied, the loco comes with a rapido type coupling on the back which is standard to rock a hand stock and the front has a dummy buck ion. There's actually a plug-in front bogey with a rock a hand coupling to go on the front should you wish to do tender bunker first running. Close inspection reveals that the model is very highly detailed, very nicely detailed indeed, with nice paint delineation. The mechanism itself is fully enclosed but there's full working valve gear on it. Uh, the only snag with it is that it is very light. I started out on my standard test track. This uses Marklin set track, uh, four reverse curves so you can test out along the wheelbase stock. It also doesn't have a gauge master or relco electronic track cleaner. It's pure DC, but this is a good test to see how the pickups work. It also uses a standard Marklin grey controller. This is not the most subtle of weapons and means that the starting voltage quite, can be quite high. Sometimes not a fair test for some of the Japanese proprietary models that start to move at very, very low voltage levels. I'm not expecting it to have vast amounts of stuff. Most of the things it's going to be pulling on Republic Steel are going to be 8 or 10 wagon long trains. On the typical rake of Rockerhan and Ten Shadow mixed open wagons it's quite happy. Where it does start to struggle is when you start to put Ten Shadow coaches behind it. These are naturally very stiff running and very quickly find out the limits of adhesion of this little tank engine.
The next big test is to put it on our Brooklyn's little alpine layout, which you see behind me. Um, this was done for his fifth birthday and features gradients, very tight curves, and is a real test of most locos. Many of the Marklin locos that I own won't go around it at all. The one time that we fi I found it struggling was with a few Seki hoppers on the back, where I ended up having to put the DE10 on the back as a banker. But for normal sort of lengths of trains, this is an extreme test as a layout. The only variation on the production ones is differences in smoke deflectors. This is a Tetsudo one, so we have the full depth smoke deflectors. Um, but in conclusion, very nice little model, very useful. Uh, never going to pull a side out of the house, but we don't expect it to do anyway. The other thing is I keep looking at it as a donor chassis because there's a lot of British outline steam tank engines that would fit directly onto this. It'd just be a shame to throw away this beautifully moulded little body.